Hi, it's Vader and Spunky. Hey, let's practice telling time. Yeah, let's get the the clock out and see if we can practice telling time. Hmm, let's see here. Remember, boys and girls, well, let's see if I can turn this so you can see it. If that minute hand is straight up in the air, that means o'clock. And the little short hand, the hour hand, tells us what o'clock it is. This one is nine o'clock. But we're going to get the manipulatives out here and see if we can practice counting by fives, reading the clock. So if we click on, actually, if we click on our link here, let's see if it's going to work. Uh-huh, there it is. So what o'clock is this, Spunky? That says three o'clock, Miss Sater. It does say three o'clock. Let's add five minutes to our clock. Now, what time does it say? Now it says 3.05. That's exactly right. 3.05. And we would write that, if I can get my pen down here, we would say 3 for the hour. Hour always comes first. You must put the colon. That's, that's two little dots. There's no 10 minutes. We're only at 3.05. There you go. That is 305. That says 305 like a digital clock. Yeah, that's the easy one to read. Okay, let's add another five minutes on the clock. Here we go. You see how I counted another five? So we have five, ten. So what time is it now? That says 310, Miss Sater. You are correct. Let's grab our pen and let's write 310 because we are counting by fives. Three, ten. All right. And let's count one more five. Five, ten, fifteen. That's exactly right, Spunky. We are going to go down to three fifteen. Now that's not three three. I've heard kids say that that's three three because. Both the minute hand and the hour hand are pointing to the three. But only the three is read by the hour hand. Do you see how the hour hand is red and the minute hand is blue? Oh, the short red hand is pointing to three. Yes, that's the hour hand, and it's pointing to three. But the long blue hand is pointing to three, too. Ah, look at the blue numbers. What blue number is that long blue hand pointing to? That's the 15 we counted. Yes, that is the 15 we counted. So we need to we need to write 315. And the way we do that, we'll put that up here. Three for the hour. Oops, that's supposed to be a dot and a dot. I need to fix that. That's really bad, you guys. I definitely need some help with my manipulatives. Okay, let's try that. So it looks like a colon. There we go. Three, fifteen, one, ten, five ones. Three, fifteen. All right. And we're going to take and practice moving that minute hand until we make it say four o'clock. All right. Oh, we're going to count by five some more. Yep, that's exactly right. We've been practicing our fives. So that's three, fifteen. Five more would be three, twenty. Oops, slow down the clock. Why, that's going way fast. 3.25. What's that one? 3.30. Yep. Five more is 3.35. Yep. What's five more than 3.35? 3.40. Look at that hour hand. It almost looks like it's pointing to four, but it hasn't made it to four yet. That's 3.40. Five more. 3.45. Wow, that hour hand does look like it's at four. No, it's not at four yet. It hasn't made it. We're only at 3.45. 3.50. Yep. What is it now, guys? 3.55. Very good. And we don't say 3.60. What do we say here? When that, when that minute hand is straight up, like this, Miss Sater? Yes, like that. It says 
Four o'clock. Four o'clock. You got it. O'clock. All right. That's kind of a mini lesson with fives and o'clock. Hopefully that helps a little bit.